As a mom, of course I wanna give my kids the healthiest foods possible, but how can I do this without the overwhelm? Here are seven tips that every parent needs to know when trying to feed your family the Daily Dozen. Now, if you don't know what the Daily Dozen is, that's okay, it's from the book, how not to die. And in it, he describes 12 different foods that you should try and eat every single day for optimal health. Let me show you. Starting with tip number one. In order to get all of the Daily Dozen into one full day, you need to start your day with a smoothie. Tip number one is make sure to make a smoothie every morning for your family. You always wanna make sure that you add in some berries. I like to add in a lot of pineapple for the sweetener as well as oranges to make it nice and sweet. Now the Daily Dozen includes three three servings of beans. So you need to be thinking about adding beans to your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. So tip number two is adding tofu to your smoothie. And the tofu makes the smoothie so creamy and delicious. Flaxseed is key for daily dozen smoothies. Next up, we'll add in some spinach so that we can knock off another one of those daily dozen points with the leafy greens. I add sweetened soy milk because it keeps it a little sweeter for my kids to eat it. <laughs> You want more? Yes. You found a straw. Yummy, yummy. Tip number three is don't underestimate the power of a PB and J. Especially when it's on whole grain bread, you're knocking out your two servings of whole grains plus your servings of nuts in one day. I love it, not only for my kids and their lunches, but for myself as well. I just finished my workout, so my post-workout snack is a PB&J, a banana, and then I always try and eat a Brazil nut. A Brazil nut is so good for your thyroid and has so many antioxidants with the selenium in it. And then make sure to take your B12. This hits the spot. <laughs> mm. Now, if you're a mom like me, I'm sure you've had many days where you're like, oh, it's five o'clock, what do I make for dinner? I don't wanna think about it, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> so tip number four, in order to make this possible, you need to make dinner at lunch. So just make your lunch and make it the dinner that you're all going to eat as a family later that night. This makes it so that not only you can get all of the added nutrition for lunch, but also it's done. You don't have to worry about planning your dinner later on. Let's make Zupa Toscana soup. This recipe is from the Plantwise Spring Mill Guide, which is linked below. And instead of using tofu for the sausage in the soup, I'm gonna be using the trusty textured vegetable protein just so it will go faster and I have a bunch left over. To a pan, I'll add one cup of textured vegetable protein, three tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon maple syrup, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one teaspoon of liquid smoke, one teaspoon of oregano, two teaspoons of smoked paprika, and cayenne pepper to taste, just a couple of shakes. I'll add a cup of water to all this just to rehydrate that textured vegetable protein. If you're using tofu, you would crumble up the tofu, add all of this to the tofu, and not worry about adding the water, and let this sit for just a little bit. Preheat the oven to 350. While the TVP is absorbing all of that flavor and water, we'll chop up potatoes. Using my amazing chopper to make it go faster. Planning your dinner for lunch was a game changer for me when one of my friends told me that that's what she does every day. It makes a huge difference. It makes my evenings so much smoother and happier. It absorbed all of that water and now it looks just like ground beef. We'll quickly add all of this textured vegetable protein to a pan and we'll put it in the oven just to kind of harden up a little bit more so it feels more like sausage. We'll put this in the oven while we cook the rest of the soup. We will water saute one yellow onion in a large pan, big enough to hold our big soup. Then you'll add three cloves garlic. I ran out, so I'm using garlic powder. Next is one tablespoon Italian seasoning and a pinch of red pepper flakes. It's all of the spices in this soup that help you mark off another check on that daily dozen. Then we'll add six cups of veggie broth. I just do water and the paste. And we'll cook these potatoes and you'll add about three fourths to a can of coconut milk. I'm using light coconut milk. This will cook until the potatoes are nice and soft for about 20 minutes. Hey, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Go ahead and do it below. Potatoes are done and textured vegetable protein is done. This seriously tastes just like sausage. It's so good. We will add the sausage to the soup. Next, we add a can of white beans, rinsed and drained. And we'll add a bunch of chopped kale. This covers the cruciferous vegetables as well as the other serving of greens. All right, let's do this. 
This soup tastes so good. And the best part is I am going to eat it for lunch and for dinner. It simplifies my life. It simplifies my evening with my kids. We're all eating a healthy dinner with all of these vegetables and fulfilling the daily dozen without the stress and overwhelm. Making dinner at lunch is great. I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this. <laughs> Let's make a veggie charcuterie board. Tip number five, lay out your veggies for your kids when they get home after school. We'll chop up the veggies really quick. Only one in 10 children eat at least five fruits and vegetables a day. Only one in 10. Let's make your kids be the extraordinary children by getting all the nutrition they need and make it easy for them by having it available for them right after school when they get home. They need to have it easy, out, and available. If the first thing that they go to is packaged snacks, then that's what they'll want. But if it's vegetables with some hummus, then not only are you getting your extra veggies in for the day, but also another serving of beans in the hummus. Even just having this laid out will help my kids to actually eat more vegetables because it's easy and it's there and everyone in my family loves hummus too. Tip number six, have a dance party. Part of the Daily Dozen is to include 90 minutes of exercise. And while I get a lot of my exercise during the day, in order to add that extra half an hour, Let's just make it easy and let's make it fun. My kids love to dance. I love to dance. It creates family unity. It's so good for our family. So just add a family dance party every night before bed. And last but not least, tip number seven, in order to make the Daily Dozen doable for your family, make fruit your dessert. Bananas. We're gonna add pineapple and add vanilla. We love freezing bananas and turning it into an ice cream, adding some delicious toppings. Are you ready for ice cream? Yeah! Let's be honest, everybody loves dessert. It's a wonderful way to add more fruits and vegetables into your diet without it being overwhelming. Open it up. Yum. The sprinkles are just cooked amaranth with some brown sugar. It pops kind of like popcorn when it's cooked. And then I added some pumpkin seeds. I hope you enjoyed listening to my seven tips on how to make the Daily Dozen doable for your family. If you wanna learn more about the Daily Dozen, make sure to check out my other video on how when I tried the Daily Dozen, here are some of the things that surprised me.